she's an addict, she's worthless. When you have something traumatic going on or you have something where you need to turn to family or somebody and you have nobody but your addict friends like that support you, then you feel like that's the only people you have that care. So then you continue to go on with that pattern. There was one night, um, actually I had just gotten, my sister had just gotten out of jail. Um, her boyfriend that she was dating, really no good guy, but um, he kept telling her, oh, the cops are coming, the cops are coming. She had it in her head for some reason that she had a warrant still, because he told her that. So he had made this shot that was just so dark. I, I even said that, that's way too dark. That's even too dark for three people, you know? So she freaked out grabbed it ran to the closet and did it well then luckily I was going to the store but something told me to go back I forgot my cigarettes or something went back in and I was looking for my sister so I was gonna take her with me and couldn't find her and couldn't find her so I went to so like fighting with him well where's she at going to the room so I went to the room and he tried to block me so I still moved him out of the way went to the closet and she was there already turning purple, like, you know, the colorness of her, I could tell she was already overdosing. The needle was still in her arm, she hadn't even finished injecting that whole thing in, so I freaked out. I mean, I went to school for a medical assistant, but I still never had to deal with something, you know, as traumatic as that. So all I did was yell at him to go get me some ice, and he just stood there and he w tried to grab her and drag her. He's like, I'm gonna drag her to the aisle. I'm not gonna get caught up for her. And I, my cousin was coming in that owned the house, stopped him and luckily they, there was no ice or nothing cold in the house. He had just came back from getting a fountain drink. Stuck his hand in the cup and gave me the ice. So I didn't know anything if that's how you did it, but they said get the ice and you know put it like on their private so it, like shocks them back. And luckily I did right when I was about to try to start performing CPR, so thank God I didn't have to start the CPR or anything like that, but the ice, it like shocked her back and she like gasped her gas back for air and she was freaking out. Like, she, you know, she wasn't quite sure. It took her, I want to say about good, maybe five minutes to come out of it, you know, just her to come to or where she was even at and who was around her and stuff like that. So, I mean, I was, kind of in shock myself because I had never had to do that so you know when I did and nobody had Narcan at the time because it was barely when they were starting to come around the valley the heroin so like Narcan really wasn't given or anything like that so it was really pretty much up left to you on how to you know save them so. Mm -hmm.